Occasionally when you're doing a limit problem, you'll need to do a one-sided limit. And a one-sided limit is one in which the limit either comes for the left or the right. So the notation would look like this. The limit of f of x as x approaches some constant, let's just say a. If you see a plus, that means from the right. And if you see a minus, that means from the left. So these are one-sided limits, either coming from the right or from the left. Now to evaluate a one-sided limit, you can use the substitution rule as long as that point is not discontinuous. So as long as a exists in the domain of the function, you can simply plug in a and get the answer regardless of if it comes from the left or the right. However, let's look at an example. Limit of 1 over x as x approaches 0 from the right, and let's do the same thing as x approaches 0 from the left, and two, see what we get here. So now we cannot just plug in 0 because that would make this function undefined. So what we need to do is consider very small positive numbers as we approach 0 from the right, and very small negative numbers as we approach 0 from the left. So, so the limit as we approach 0 from the right of 1 over x, I like to write it like this so you can just keep that in your mind, small positive number. So if you think about it, whenever you divide by a number that's smaller than 1, a fraction, your number gets bigger and bigger. And as this number gets smaller and smaller, the number continually gets bigger. And since we're getting as small as we possibly can, and they're always going to be positive, this is going to be positive infinity. From the left, we have almost the same thing going on. But if we have very small negative numbers, our number is still getting very large, except now it's going to be negative because we have... 1 over a negative very small number, and we get negative infinity. So 0 from the right gives us positive infinity, but 0 from the left gives us negative infinity. If those two things are different, the one-sided limits, if the one-sided limits are different, then the limit as x approaches that number itself, so just the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x, does not exist. So like I said, if that this value does not make the function un, uh, undefined or discontinuous in any way, you can just plug it in. If it doesn't, you kind of just need to consider what having uh, a number slightly to the right of your number and slightly to the left of your number would do to the function. And if those two things are not equal, then the uh, limit in and of itself at the number does not exist.